Now, I don't want to use this thing. I, I, look, it's potent, but I, I don't 100% trust it. I don't know what the hell is in there. It's very strong, so I already use this one. Yeah, I need to buy. I need to buy more. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because you can go, you can go years with just a pot of that like this here. This is what I'm looking for. Where am I looking for this one? I wanted to click all these things. All let me click this one. This you can go years with this. I'm not kidding you. You can literally go years with this. Even this amount, this amount, you can go years with this. Believe me, what I'm saying, you can go years with this. This. This is, I think, what he does. He busted it open. I don't know what the hell they're doing. But yeah, I don't trust this. Of course I drank it before. I mean, come on, man. But now I know better. I think I know better. I hope I, hope I know better. <clears throat> Not to trust that. So yeah, this. I'll leave the link in the description box. And I'm going to leave this one also. Because I, I didn't see it, but um, I think it's, I think it's uh, useful information. But yeah, so that's this part. Uh, don't trust... Basically, they're trying to kill you. Anyway. Genesis chapter 49 and 11. Binding his foe unto the vine and his ass called unto the choice vine. He washed his garments in wine and his clothes in the blood of grapes. That is the future prophecy of the Lord Jehovah Shai, right? Done by Jacob. And so therefore... I'm going to go here where you find that in the book of Zechariah. Nine. So the, 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 the vine, the, sorry, the foal. And, uh, and his eyes are cold. Zechariah 9, 9. Rejoice, O daughter of Zion. Shout, O daughter of Jerusalem. It's talking about the men. Behold, thy king cometh unto thee. He is just and having salvation lowly and riding upon the ass and upon a colt the foal of his ass that is what was mentioned in the book of genesis chapter 49 11 so that's that prophecy already came to pass matthew 21 and 2 saying unto them go into the village over you over against you and straightway ye shall find an ass tied and a colt with her Lose them and bring them unto me. How wish I said that unto one of the disciples, if I'm correct. I'm, I'm not sure, but you can read verse 1. He's going to say it. He, oh, two, two of his, I said one, sorry. Then sent he two of his disciples. Okay, cool. John 15 and 1. I am the true vine, and my father is the husbandman. He's the vine and his father, which is the heavenly father. This shows you that the Lord is not the heavenly father. Because <laughs> he is the vine. And the father is the husbandman. What is a husbandman? A farmer. And how more can you expound on that? John 5. So John 15 and 1. I just read John 5 and 19. Then answered Jehovah and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto you, The son can do nothing of himself, but what he seeth the father do. For what things... So ever he doeth, these also doeth the son likewise. Now you might say, like, yeah, that's talking about uh, like father, like son, you know, as a biological father, biological son, and stuff like that. He's talking about himself. But you can add that second one that I just said, like, like son, like father, like son. You can add that too, in the physical form. But anyway, I'm gonna jump to John 5 and 26. For as the father had life in himself, so had he given the son to have life in himself. That's that's it. That's that's exactly what it says right there. The Lord Yahweh Shai is not the Father. The Heavenly Father Yahweh has given life unto the Son to have life within Himself, and the Heavenly Father has life within Himself. John five and thirty. Now I'm gonna jump to thirty. I can of my own self do nothing. As I hear, I judge, and my judgment is just. Because I seek not my own will, but the will of the Father which had sent me. How can he send himself? This again shows you that Yahweh Shai is not the Heavenly Father. This whole chapter here, John 5, verse 17 until 30. <coughs> Pardon. Psalms 3, sorry, 1, verse uh, 1 until 3. 
Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor sitteth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful, but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law doth he meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted in by the rivers of water, that bringeth forth his fruit in his season, his leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. Because we are when we was in the scriptures, everything that we did we prospered in it. Because we stayed within Yahweh Bashem Yahusha. Joshua 1 and 8, also 7, but I'll, I'll jump to 8. Uh, that thou mayest be prosperous and whatsoever, prosperous, whatsoever thou here. Verse 8. This book of the law shall not depart out of, the, out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, and that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then, so when you do this, right here, do you do this? For then, Shalt, for then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt make, thou shalt, and then thou shalt have good success. So, if you're thinking, why is the nation of Jacob, the slave descendants, the Native Americans, Latinos, why are we not actually as a whole successful? Because the majority of us are sinners. That's why. And you might think, like, why are the heathen nations? so successful as a whole like a big bulk of them that's let's rather say that because this is their world and they serve satan willingly and unwillingly unknowingly and unknowingly but look at holly weird everybody knows like you got to do some devil stuff to go up in there and some of them be like i ain't gonna compromise myself i'm just gonna stick to god let me see if you make it then sucker first corinthians chapter three first uh, six i have planted apollos watered Paul planted, Apollos watered, but the Heavenly Father gave the increase. Same thing here. He's the husbandman. He, he's, he, 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 takes care, he, he makes sure, he makes sure that the plants grow and that they are beautifully stabilized. That's the Heavenly Father does that. He does that. Nobody else. You can give water but then the most high can cause that plant to just die off of too much water or too less. It depends. You can plant seeds and they cannot take root or, or, or they they uh, take no root here. For example, I think it was what? Second Esther? I think, I think it is. Second Esther chapter 8, verse. Second Esther chapter 8, verse 41. For as the husbandman, this is actually a physical farmer, but you can apply it to the Heavenly Father. Well, well, wait, 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 wait. Let me let me read it first, and then and then I'm gonna talk about it. For as the husbandman soweth much seed upon the ground, and planted many trees, and yet the thing that is sown good in his season cometh not up. Just like how you have the blessing when you have here. Here, um, it says here, uh, Psalms one and three, and shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth fruit in in his season some fruits or vegetables do not grow in a particular season it doesn't matter what you do it just that's not how the heavenly father created it but esau got his hyperbolical chambers and all that that type of stuff then he has these little chambers where he has artificial sun which is that light then you can do it because he can create the atmosphere of a summertime or something like that and then he can do it indoors and then they will grow you know but it's kind of weird but they will grow but believe me when i tell you it's like cooking on a electric stove or cooking on a stove with gas or cooking on a sto uh, a fire made by wood or charcoal you will taste the difference you will taste it if you just cook on an oven right oven meat oven meat with the blood in it anyway you do you and, and versus barbecue meat you will taste the difference you will taste it you go you won't taste it well that's the same thing with these things grown in in uh in contained environments or in a laboratory you know you're gonna taste it you're gonna taste it you're gonna be like hey, the thing that that thing that tastes good this tastes the best this one this actually tastes the best but uh the one with wood and charcoal they taste better and i know i'm, I'm from south america so I, I know what it tastes i don't know if you know but 
That's why that's why Jake loves barbecue so much in America. Think about that. <laughs> I wasn't even thinking about it. <laughs> uh, uh, I know about it, but I wasn't thinking about it at that moment in time until I until I said it, and then I was like, hey, wait a minute. That's what I always say. That's why they love barbecue and that. <laughs> Because <laughs> it's natural. It's natural in them. It, they, they can't help themselves. You know? The concrete jungle still can't get, you know, uh, the Jacob descendant soul uh, fire dimmed. It can't. It can't. It can't. It, they try. It's it's lower than it's supposed to be, but they, you know, I haven't been in years in South America, so I don't, I don't even, I don't even do that no more. But I do know that I love me some barbecue food. Some burned with coal or burned with wood right love it it tastes great you taste you can taste the wood you can I don't know how to explain it but you can taste the food that is different same thing with food grown naturally you can taste it compared to food grown in a, a so-called contained environment it tastes different it doesn't have the flavor in it right so going on right so here so it says here neither doth all that is planted take root even so it is uh, even so is it of them that are sown in the world they shall not all be saved all the souls are created sown by the Heavenly Father he planted every soul upon this earth every person that is burned uh, uh, born sorry born yeah the Heavenly Father allowed that I kill and I make alive right Deuteronomy 32 39 so see see now that I even I am him am he and there is no God with me I kill and I make alive I wound and I heal neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand yo so he plant everybody here upon the planet because he's the original farmer right he's the original sorry he's the original farmer right he plants all the seeds of life like, like, like of life right if a woman gets pregnant he did it you know what I'm saying if a woman cannot get pregnant he did it you know what I'm saying so he is the one that owns you <laughs> and he will make sure that you will not be saved because he knows you he's like oh, I don't I don't like you yeah that that's what it is he, you know just like back in the days he would kill the world because of their wickedness. Why? Because men started to do evil stuff because an, 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 an sentence against the wicked deed is not punished speedily. So he, he just let them go and just watches them like, I, I, let me see what, what you're going to choose. You're going to choose the one, the angel, like the voice, the one that's soft that says, I don't think you should be doing that. Or the other one that be like, yo, man, let's, let's do this, man. I should benefit money on it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Most people will listen to the loud voice in their head because <laughs> that's the one that brings the, the physical, fleshly, carnal joy. The other one, ah, oh, you a party pooper, man. You, 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 you know what I'm saying? You don't want to make me have fun. Females always say that dumb shit. He, he doesn't want me to have fun. Really? I'm trying to protect my property. <laughs> I know you're going to get fucked out there when you go to them, them, them clubs and stuff like that. Don't go over there. He's just trying to take my fun. You're a party pooper. What? You better get yourself another girl, man. That's not your girl. Anyway, the Heavenly Father is the one that gives the increase. You can plant all you want. <laughs> all those things are going to die anyway if the Heavenly Father doesn't give the increase. First Corinthians 3, 6. I have planted, Apollos watered, but the Heavenly Father gave the increase. So then neither it is, neither is it he that planted anything. Neither he that water it, but the Heavenly Father that give it increase. But it is a beautiful thing if you do plant and if you do water. It's a beautiful thing. First Corinthians chapter 1 verse 21. For, for after that, in the wisdom of the Heavenly Father, the world by wisdom knew not the Heavenly Father. They're not wise. They're smart to do their little carnal things, make TVs and make all these telephones and all track you and stuff like that you know what i'm saying they can make playstation and all that, that type of stuff they do they can do their things it pleases the heavenly father by the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe he can just actually wake you up just like that but he doesn't want to do that it's no fun 
It's like when you are a top fighter, right? We are a top fighter. Do you want to beat up sissies in the ring? No, man. You want to have a tough guy so that when you beat him up, everybody's going to be looking at you like, yo, he beat that tough guy up, man. He ain't playing, man. He ain't playing. I wouldn't I would fight with this guy, man. I need a weapon or something. That's what the tough guy would want. Now, if they have an, if, if if people could think like that, don't you think the Heavenly Father got the same thing? That, you know, I'm not saying that he is saying, thinking like that. But the fact that we know that he's omnipotent, meaning he has all omnipotent. All unlimited power. The fact that we know that he has un, uh, uh, unlimited powers, right? Omnipotent. Omnipotent. We know that he has that, so then then <laughs> what would be the fun if you just <laughs> wake people up? It, it, it's not fun. You, you need it's, there needs to be something. You need to fight against the devil within your flesh. Like, am I going? Is he going to listen to that devil? Really? He took the devil's job. Oh, I didn't even. Wow, he took the devil's route. He made it easy in Hollywood. He he spread his butt cheeks like how them girls do in porn. You know, he spread their butt cheeks like, and he just slipped up in the in the in the in the top rank of the 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 Hollywood world. Wow, he done sold out that nigga. Huh? Basically, so ain't no easy way to get up in there, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it shouldn't be. It shouldn't be easy. If you read the book of Second Esther, chapter, let me see here, seven. If you read this, verse 6 until verse uh, 12, yeah, I can read it for you. There is another thing also. A city is built and set upon, set upon a broad field, and is full of all good things. Beautiful, beautiful thing, yeah? The entrance thereof is narrow, and is set in a dangerous place to fall. As if there were on the right, sorry, as if there were a fire on the right, and on the left, a deep water. And only one path between them both, between the fire and the water, even between the fire and the water, so small that there could but only one man go, sorry, one man go there at once. So you have gotten an inheritance, a beautiful house. Um, let me see. Let's say you have this beautiful house, right? That you have been given as an inheritance. Okay, that's photoshopped. Mm. Okay, j j just just an example, man. Just an example, you know, because the video is already longer than I want it. Of 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 course. Let's just say let's just say your house is here, but a beautiful mansion-like house. You know your type. I don't know what your type of house is. Maybe you like this. Maybe you like this, maybe you like this. I don't know. Just your type of house, right? Has been put somewhere in the field, right? And there's a there's a path. There's a path that <laughs> looks like this. No, this is not worse. I want a high one. Some some some, some a very high one. One that just looking at these pictures is scared to death out you. Okay, you see this one? You see this? It is blurry. Wait. Mm. This one? Woo! -wee. Yeah. Oh, sh I'm just scared looking at it right now. I'm not, I'm not playing. I'm not making this up. Let's say this high, right? No safety net, nothing. But the bridge looks like. Let me see. I just saw it, man. I think I just saw it. It looks worse than this. The bridge looks worse. Uh, this one. Ah, I got it. The bridge looks like this. Oh, even worse. I didn't even notice this, this one. It looks like this one, right? Like this one, not this one. This is not this. This looks easy compared to this one right over here. The bridge looks like this, but it's as high as this. <laughs> All the way above the clouds and stuff like that. And all the way here is that beautiful mansion that the Heavenly Father set up for you, right? If this city now were given unto a man for an inheritance, uh, 2 Esther chapter 7, verse 9, if he shall never pass the danger set before it, how shall he receive this inheritance? How are you going to get it? It's all the way over there, right? But you have to cross this beautiful, beautiful, <laughs> this horrible looking 
um, bridge in order for you to get to the um, in order for you to get to your pretty little beautiful housey, you know, made with wood or whatever. It doesn't matter. It's your, it needs to be your type. I'm just clicking on a house just randomly, man. You know, it's, yeah, put the rainbow up in there. No, 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 no Skittles people, by the way. Right. So, uh, you know, whatever, man, you, you, you could click on the houses, whatever you want, you know, it's your, it's your fair taste, but I'm just giving an example, right? In order for you to get there, you have to cross this thing. Right, that's the path of life. <laughs> this, this is the, this is the path of a Hebrew Israelite life, by the way. The path of a of a caucus life is is this one. Mm. This one, these types, stable as hell. Actually, I want to have a more safe one in a city. Mm, just bridge in the city, man. Let me see bridge in the city. Small in a town, man. What the hell? Come on, man. Give, give me a normal, so safe that even a baby could fall off and still make it, not die or something like that, because of the height. Wow. Grachten in Nederland, okay. There you go. Here. That's how safe. Here is the height. Even a baby could fall in that <laughs> and not die. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And yeah, you walk in here is the and then you cross this little baby ass path. Yeah, how about that? That's Esau's life. And 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 he doesn't even have to walk over this one. He got a big fat, a big fat broad, very stable, strong, strong looking bridge that he crosses every day. Every day of his life, and, and, and it's only this high, like this high, like this little trottoir thing, the, the trottoir, yeah, that little thing, that's how high it is. Yep, that's Esau's uh, path upon the planet Earth. That's his, his walking uh, um, um, path toward his riches, bending over, uh, bowing to Satan every, every, every crawl of the way. Matthew four, and um, eight again. The devil taketh him up into a into a, an exceeding high mountain, and showeth unto him, showeth him all the kingdoms of the world of the world, uh, and the glory of them, and saith unto him, All these things will I give thee if thou wilt fall down and worship me. So what does that teach you and tell you? Satan has the glory of the earth, <laughs> and if you bow to him, you gonna get it. All you need to do is bow just one time, just one, just, just bend the knee a little bit, you know, and don't, don't act like you don't like it, you know what I'm saying, just bend the knee a little bit, and uh, I'm going to give you everything that you desire, your heart's desire, for a small season, and for a small fee. <laughs> once you, once you figure out what you sold, <laughs> you're going to cry like Esau when he cried, when he figured out that the birthright was now given on the, on the, the, the blessing. Of the birthright was now given unto his brother Jacob. You're gonna be so angry, you're gonna to want to kill us again. <laughs> you stupid. Anyway, that's funny. So, and I said, It is so, Lord. Then said he unto me, Even so also is Israel's portion, because of the, because for their sakes I made the world. And then, yeah, so an Adam transcripts. Okay, cool. That's what we're going to get. Lord willing, he it, it's already written that we're gonna get it. I I just hope I get it personally. <laughs> I go through that one. So, but yeah, are you gonna are you gonna let sin rule over you? Eh? Are you gonna listen to the bad guy in your mind, or the the examples that you get from off of TV? You have to understand the youngsters that came up. They all want to be thug niggas and, and smoking and having bitches and uh, committing adultery. It's all fun and games. Like, man, I got that bitch, man. You ain't man enough to keep your bitch. Stuff like that. It makes them feel good about themselves because they have been taught this nonsense. You have to understand that we, when we grew, was growing up, saw all them gangster rap on television. Well, I didn't see it really on television, but I saw, I heard uh, songs and tape cassette decks and stuff like that. 
You know, you want to be like that. You hear that? You be, man, that shit sounds dope, man. I think I want to do it. That's how they get you because Esau is the one that promotes all that shit, put it online or, or actually on the radios and stuff like that, on these televisions, MTV back in the days. He does that because he wants that chaos to spread upon the planet Earth. But what are you going to choose? That or the boring one? The boring one is the one that's actually going to give you the eternal life. And then the Heavenly Father said, there shall no be uh, no... Um, I forgot the scriptures, but it says that... I forgot how it goes. But it says, it explains that they shall have continual things. It will never... The boring doesn't exist. They shall have continual... I know it's not a muse month. I know it's not that. And I think it's in the Apocrypha even. I don't know where it is, but um, I often forget this scripture and I do it again. So It's somewhere in Proverbs maybe, I think. It's not even spelled like that. Okay, I don't know where it is, but it, it it explains that in the kingdom there shall not be anything boring. There just will always be something new. And anyway, a, a woman is always bored. I'm bored. I'm bored. She got like fifty five things to do, like entertain herself with, but she's not satisfied. So she's she looks for fifty six now. And once that's done, fifty seven. Once that's done, fifty eight. I can just be contempt by having uh, wine, and a, a chair and just sitting uh, staring at, at just just the earth <laughs> and I can do that for hours <laughs> are you not entertained are you I'm not a woman I don't need to be entertained I am the the world I don't know just looking at stuff entertains I don't know I don't even use the word entertain I'm I'm satisfied I'm satisfied I, I don't need extra stuff that's why I do is don't need makeup if you want makeup you're a girl as a man year ago first Corinthians chapter 3 verse 7 so then neither is he that planted anything neither he that watered but the heavenly father that giveth the increase now now he that planted and he that watered are one because they came from the father and every and every man shall receive his own reward according to his own labor so you're gonna get what you deserve but uh, going back to over here Genesis where it is mentioned that Yahweh will come since in the time of uh, Genesis 49. And uh, let me see something here. Yeah, I don't need to read this. You can read this for yourself if you have the time. Husbandman. Here, it shows you that we are the vine of the Lord. So, wait, sorry. Yahweh is the vine, but we uh, were a vine too. Let me start here. Isaiah chapter 5, verse 1. Now, I will sing to my beloved the song of my beloved touching his vineyard. My well-beloved had a vineyard in a very fruitful hill. And he fenced it. That hill was uh, the land of milk and honey. Uh, the land of Canaan. And gathered out the stones thereof. The Most High kicked out all the heathen nations before us. Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 1. These were the stones because if you, if you bump against them, you're going to hurt your feet. Deuteronomy chapter 7, he kicked out all the, 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 the you know, the Hittites, the Gergesites, the Amorites, the Canaanites, the Parasites, the Hivites, the Jebusites, seven nations, great and mighty in the Tao. And what did he do to them? He kicked them out and he kicked them in the ding ding. So it says here, uh, Levit Leviticus chapter 18, verse 24. Defile not ye yourselves in any of these things, for all and for in all these the nations are the fouls which are cast out before you. Casting out stones. They dare the stones. That, that the Lord kicked out and gathered out the stones thereof and planted it in the with the choicest vine the most beautiful vine yeah that give you beautiful grape the uh, uh, sweet grapes right and built a tower in the midst of it and that tower is Proverbs 18 10 the name of Yahweh is a strong tower the righteous run it into it and is safe and in the beginning we used to call upon the name of Yahweh Basham Yahushai but in the book of Samuel, it shows you that the word, the, the 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 word of the Lord was precious in those days. Meaning, it was very scarce in those days, in the time of Samuel. 
a lot of prophets, the, the, the Heavenly Father wasn't talking to a lot of people in those days. And build a tower in the midst of it, which, which represented that the Heavenly Father was protecting it. And also made the wine press therein, because wine is made to make men glad. <clears throat> the book of Sirach 31, 24, 27. Wine is as good as life to a man, if it be drunk moderately. What life is then to a man that is without wine? For it was made by the Heavenly Father to make men glad. But not too much because it's going to make you angry and full of hatred. I know what I'm talking about. I know exactly what I'm talking about. That wine is going to make you raging uh, if you're not wise. Uh, and even if you're wise, you still, if, if you're wise, you wouldn't be drinking that much. So watch out. And he looked that it should bring forth grapes, sweet grapes. And it and it brought forth wild grapes. Ooh. Oh, no, no, no. Because the Most High said that in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 2, verse 21. Yet I had planted thee a noble vine, holy, a right seed. Beautiful. Because we had the throat, we had the law, everything. And we were noble people. How then art thou turn into the, the degenerate plant of a strange vine unto me? We started to turn into the heathen nations. If you read up this word that says Nakar, we started to turn into like Gentiles. Degenerates going against our forefathers. Having lost the physical, mental, or moral qualities and spiritual, concerning moral and desirable, showing evidence of decline, lacking, but I want the ancestor thing. Where's the ancestor thing? Mm, degenerate. Here, wait. Degenerate etymology here. Degenerate. Here. To be inferior to one's ancestors. That's what degenerate actually is. Because D is like de-escalate. So when you escalate, you go, you know, you're escalating it. But when you're de-escalating it, that means you're going, you're down in it. Gen, gener, gene is a seed, sperm. Like gene, give birth, right? And uh, rate is, uh, what, 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 it's basically inferior. Go, no, all right. Generate. Basically, it says D as in de-escalate. It says Lower gen generation, lower gene. You're de-s, you're you're de-escalating your gene. Basically, you're de-gening, you're de-gening, meaning you're unworthy, unbased. You're not. You're inferior to your ancestors. That is what it means. To become unlike one's race or kind, fall from ancestor equality. That is what we did. That's why the book of Malachi four and six says that. And he shall turn the heart of the fathers to the children and the heart of the children to their fathers. That's what we will that, that's what we're supposed to be doing. We're so go, we're supposed to go back to our forefathers' mannerisms and stuff like that. Right. So now going back to over here. So we became a degenerate plant unto the heavenly father. So now Matthew uh, Isaiah chapter five, verse four, three, three. And now, all inhabitants of Jerusalem and ye men of Judah, judge, I pray you betwixt me and my vineyard. I have to go because the market is going to close soon and I want, I need uh, vegetables. So uh, I got to go. Uh, let me see. I mean, five o'clock, I'm, I'm, I'm already fucked up. So, so messed up. Sorry. But um, damn it, I, I need to go away. Let me finish this up. So this is four. What could I have done more to my vineyard? So the, the most is asking himself, like, what could I have done? I've done, I've done everything. I, these people are just ungrateful, you know? That I have not done in it. Ezekiel chapter 16 explains that. What, what the Lord did for us. All the beauty that the Lord did for us. And, to, and, and still we turned worse than Sodom and Gomorrah. Yeah, I, I said that good. Physically, literally, we turned worse than Sodom and Gomorrah. Because we, we did more worse things than them. Even the people of Sodom and Gomorrah looked at us like, Ew, that's disgusting. You know? They was gobbling up. <laughs> Man, let me, let me not talk about it. Read it for yourself if you have the time. So it says here, Wherefore, when I looked that it should bring forth grapes, brought it forth wild grapes, sour. That's going to bust up your teeth. That's why you got to watch out with sour things, by the way. 
and now go to. I will tell you what I will do to my vineyard. I will take away the hedge thereof. What hedge? The protection. Job one. Where is it? Here. Verse 10. Job 1 and 10 and 9. Then Satan answered the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and said, Doth Job fear Yahweh for not? Do is he scared for you for nothing? Check this out. Has not thou made an hedge about him and about his house? Basically, the Lord was protecting him and about all that he had on every side. He was forfeited. It was forfeited. Nothing could penetrate the protection of the Lord for, 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 for uh, uh, the protection of the Lord uh, uh, of Job. Okay? The protection uh, from the Lord to Job. Yeah. Thou hast blessed the work of his hands and his substance is increased in the land. Basically, that hedge was protection. So what did the Lord do? He kicked away the hedge of the Israelites as a whole nation. And it shall be eaten up, all the animals and all the insects, all the beasts of the field, which are the people of the field. If you read the book of Ezekiel chapter here, I'm going to jump to it real quick. Ezekiel chapter 34. It shows you that we are the we are the sheep of the Lord. We are basically the lost sheep of the house of Israel. We are lost and we are driven away sheep. Verse 8. You can read the rest for yourself. Verse 1 until verse 8. As I live, save Yahweh the power. Surely because my flock, because we are sheep, became a prey to who and my flock became meat food for every beast on the field and who is who is eating us jeremiah chapter 30 verse 16 therefore all they that devour thee shall be devoured and all thine adversaries every one of them shall go into captivity all y'all going into slavery because y'all ate us y'all ate us up beat us up murdered rape robbed murdered you're gonna get yours you know what I'm saying? Y'all the beasts of the field. We're the sheep. You know what I'm saying? So going on, as I say, and it shall be eaten up. We we got eaten up, man. Trampled, stomped out like wildfire, and break down the wall the walls thereof. No more protection. And it shall be trodden down. We got stepped on. Um This is what they did. Isaiah 51 and 23. But I will put it into the hand of them that afflict thee. The Lord caused them to fuck us up, actually. <laughs> Since we didn't want to listen to him. Well, you're going to listen to your enemy now. I mean, you scared, ain't you? Your enemy tells you go to school, even though they finna turn your boy into a little girl in school. You still got to send him because you're scared, right? Which have said to thy soul, bow down that we may go over. And thou hast laid thy body as the ground and as the street to them that went over. And that's exactly physically what they did mentally, spiritually. And I even have a picture about that. Let me show you. I want to see. Right now, this is a picture here. Imagine if these were your children and seeing the slave master children watching your children as footstools. We were their footstools. Until now, we actually are. Especially them house needles. As they grow. Basically, the point is that he used to keep his feet warm. And also, he used to, uh, when he's sick, they believed that our, our body was so holy that they would put their feet on our body in order for us to basically take away their illness. That's what they believed in. You have to understand that these people know who you are. They know that we are the blessed uh, uh, vessels upon the planet Earth. The vessels fitted for mercy, and he is the vessel fitted for destruction. Romans chapter 9. So going on, this is exactly what they did, right? In slavery, they did this. And the heathen nations, the other heathen nations do it too, right? So we will be trodden down. And I will lay it waste, and it shall not be pruned nor digged. Pruning is when you make your town your 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 or not town. I mean your your plants even more beautiful. Because if you if you prune it, it will grow beautiful and more better. You know, it it, it will here. A wild uh, uh, pruned pruned and um garden. Pruned got this is a pruned garden. This is a pruned garden. It's beautiful. It's decked out. And then you have a wild garden. Then you have this, like a bunch of beasts. Look at look at them. Niggas all over the place and shit like that. You see them all over there hanging around the fucking turtle. They're not they're, they're not even straight in line, bitch ass niggas. They're all over the place. That's that's what we are as a nation. Fucked up. Right? So it shall not be pruned nor digged. When you dig holes and stuff like that, but you dig beautiful holes. Not them mess up holes that them how look. Just 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 look at the streets, man. Just look at the streets. Like, you know, they're selling dope and stuff like that. It's like an animal that pissed. No, like a bird that shit in his own water. Have you ever had birds? 
where they shit in their own water. And that's the water that you give them every day to drink. They shit in there. They specifically seek out the water to shit in. I'm looking at them like, are you dumb? Are you stupid? I know what, what, what they think. They think, because they're stupid, they think that the water is going to wash it away. That's why when you have birds in a birdcage, you notice that they always shit in the water. They shit in the water. Be like, why do you do that? Because he thinks it's going to flow away like how the river brings away stuff. You know, the river brings away water. That's what he thinks. He's, I don't know. I don't know. That's what I think that he thinks. <laughs> he doesn't understand like, hey, my man, that's your drinking water, fool. But this is what a thug nigga does in the hood. What he does is he sells drugs in the motherfucker in the hood where he lives at. That's like shitting in your own water, Dr shitting in your own food, and then eat, eat, and, and or, or shitting in your own plate, pissing in your own plate, or washing the dishes with your piss and your and your shit, and then and then or scrubbing it off like it's clean, and then the next day or the next meal you grab that same thing and then use it again as a meal as a meal and uh. A balancer or a holder you hold your food in the in the plate and stuff like that or in your glass you know that's what the nigga does but that's what the heavenly father basically let us lose to because we turn into a bunch of wild grapes which is sour but there shall come a brace and thorns yeah you, you don't want to have that in your beautiful garden why would you want to have that that's not beautiful you have a beautiful garden but then you have brace and thorns and stuff like that you don't want that you want to prune You want to prune God and this, would you look at you? It's inviting. This is inviting. It looks, this doesn't look inviting. This does not look inviting. Like you don't want to walk there. You don't really want to walk there. You want to walk here and just look around. You know, you want to take a seat over here, get some drinks and stuff like that. You, you want to do that. Your kids want to play in this, you know, like a maze. Yeah. No, that there. We used to look like that as a nation. Used to look like this. Now we look like that garden that nobody that that's unkept. That everybody spits at, but they know the potential of how it could be. So they know they know how beautiful we could be. You know they know. That's why they're hanging around you all the time, trying to steal your stuff. Think about it. Just look at this. Don't you know that this can be very more beautiful? You know, it's all dope, straight up, and, and this this moss that's growing here can be fixed up and all that that type of stuff. But anyway, let me go on. No, it says it. I also will command the clouds that they rain no rain upon it. Oh, that, there goes the beauty. It's gonna be uh here. That's th this this was gonna be like that's you. That's us. That's the nation of it. This is us. So it went, we went from this. Sorry. Hmm. Prune gardens. We get a more beautiful one. I want to really rub it in for our, for ourselves. You know, it's not more beautiful, but yeah. Anyway, it's a little bigger on a view. That's that's what I wanted actually. Also, I wanted a more beautiful view, but this is good enough. Pruned like this, we went from this to, to this. That's us. That's a nation. Like a bunch of bald headed niggas. <laughs> okay. Going on. Now it says here, verse 7 For the vineyard of the Lord of hosts is the house of Israel, and the men of Judah his pleasant plant. And he looked for judgment, but behold, oppression. For righteousness, but behold, a cry. That's what we turn into. Yo. But. We are that plant also, but Yahweh Shai is that. Yahweh Shai is that true plant, vineyard plant. And we are the, as a nation, we are the. Vineyard of the Lord and Judah is his pleasant plant. First Corinthians chapter 8, verse 1. 
Now, as touching things offered unto idols, we know that we all have knowledge. Yeah, some of them have knowledge of the television. Some of them have knowledge of the cars, mechanics, and stuff like that. So a lot of people have knowledge, you know what I'm saying? It's not necessarily concerning books and stuff like that, because I'm not that book smart, dude. I don't even like books. But, but uh, you know, something that you are interested in, you, you, we as Jacob descendants, we will excel others, because we're Jacob. Come, come, come on, man. You got to be at least proud about that. Other things, uh, but what I admire of other people, you know, even if I hate their guts, not, not, no, okay, not hate them. I don't I admire them. But believe me, I don't. But you see certain Edomites, you know, they do their little thing, thing, and I make sure that they don't, like, obviously hate me because then I don't like you. But you see certain things that they do, and you be looking at them like, hey, the Most High did give you your blessings and stuff like that. I mean, Ishmael, he also got his blessings because the Most High said that I will bless you. That's what he said. That doesn't mean I like all, 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 all Ishmaelites. I <laughs> don't. I definitely don't. Because they don't like us neither. But yeah, you know. So it says here, Genesis 17, 20. And as for Ishmael, I have heard thee. Behold, I have blessed him and made him fruitful. And will multiply him exceedingly. Twelve measures said he beget. And I will make him, and I will make him a great nation. So you have Elam. You know, they got their little tang tang. You have Moab, Ammon. I don't like Moab and Ammon. I don't like Moab and Ammon at all. Ammon a little bit more. Japheth, yeah. I don't have a really 100% problem with them. But the Vietnamese, I don't like those people. Indonesia, I don't like the people. I only like the Japheth from uh, these ones. I only uh, kind of, I don't even 100% like them. But uh, if I was to choose between Ammon, Moab, and Japheth, I'll choose Japheth. I'd rather choose them. You know? They are their racism is different. They hate us too. Don't 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 forget that. Okay. Don't ever don't ever let that that nonsense fool you. But yeah, you know. So uh, these Japhetic people are a little bit different uh, that I know of. The ones from Suriname. Now the other ones from the other countries and stuff like. Some of them look like natives. Some of them. If you look, if you glance at them real good, if if they don't straight their hair, straight their hair. They kind of look like that. You know, so some of them have straight hair, but actually a lot of them have straight hair. But some of them have these little curlies going on and stuff like that. And this is, by the way, Suriname. So I don't know about their own countries and stuff like that. But I do know that when they came to Suriname in the, in the 20s, 1920s, that, then, um, yeah, these are Japhetic people, man. Some dark brown um, Japhetic, but of course they look like this right now, you know, so... But they were, they were, they, there's still dark ones around them, you know. But yeah, so this is East Indian. That's that is not a Japheth. I don't like these motherfuckers neither, especially the ones in Suriname. But not all of them, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's just just a big bulk of them, a big bulk of the heathen nations, and I only like small portion of them that don't hate me. That's my point. Other than that, I hate your guts, yeah. But I'm I'm not I'm not gonna mess around with you or something like that. I don't have the power. <laughs> Once I got the power, you fucked up. I'm gonna burn down all your goddamn mosques and stuff like that. I'm gonna burn it down. I don't give a fuck. You ain't doing that because I know your God hate my God. I know your idols hate my heavenly Father. So you finna get smoked. You know, like chicken. Without being eaten. You finna get that. You know what I'm saying? So. These heathen nations have their little thing, thing, you know. Uh, some of them have their little great things. Some of them don't. Esau, Esau has a few funny things, like his movies or something like that, you know. His uh, some of them cartoons, some of the movies, you know. You, you learn from those type of things. You shouldn't be taught by the caucus because he's gonna teach you flying reindeers, you know, and how to keep it, and and bunnies laying eggs and stuff like that. He's gonna teach you those type of bullshit. But you can learn off of them. I mean, the movies that they make, I'll learn. I'll be looking at it like, oh, that's what you devils are doing the behind the scenes and stuff like that. Oh, I see that. Like, for example, the... I learned this. I looked at it and I was like, oh, damn, damn. They, they, they mess around and they make you not find it. Right. Right, you can... I'll put this link in the description box so you can check it out for yourself. But what is he talking about? He talks about that they're going to reset the earth just like how the Bible did it. 
Like they want to be the heavenly father. This is Isaiah chapter 14. He wants to be the heavenly father. He thinks himself to be sitting in the seat of the heavenly father. He said it has been done before the killing of the people. He wants to kill the people and leave the resources and the infrastructure intact, but he wants to kill the people. It's infrastructure and resources intact. It's been done once before. It's been done once before in the Holy Bible when the Heavenly Father killed everybody with the water. So now they think that they're going to kill everybody with other type of things. Well, let's just say in the movie, they created... No, 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 this is in the movie. I'm talking about the movie right now. <laughs> in the movie, they create a virus that will kill people. And in Highlander is another movie, manga. Highlander 2007. Mm. Highlander anime. Was it 2007? It's 2007. Okay. You should watch this. It's very dope. I think it's dope. So yeah, you, you know, you you look at the thing, these things from the heathen nation. Say you be looking at it like, okay, that's dope. I like that. That's that's their their so called culture, whatever. Their so called things and stuff like that. You know, uh, got no problem with that. I don't like them. Same way how they look at our so called culture, and then they don't like us, but they like what you're doing. I'm be the same way with them, because first and foremost. You don't see no dark skinned people in their mangas and stuff like that. The majority of the mangas, like 100%, right? From 100%, if you scope them all out, maybe like 2 3% of those, hundreds of millions of, I don't even know how many mangas there are. I mean, animations and manga books, both of them. There's more than, there's more, there's millions. If I'm, if, I didn't count it, but I think it would be millions. Yeah. Like a small percentage of those, not even a small. It's like less than what? <laughs> less than two, three percent is talking about dark skinned people? No, no, no. Let me say it better. Mentions dark skinned people in their cartoons. They don't really have animations that starring us, except for Yas Yas Yasuke, you know, that samurai. And they made him old on purpose so that he doesn't really show the power that he had, especially when he was young, beating up these Japanese uh, samurais and killing them and slaughtering them and stuff like that. Because he's better. He's Jake. Doper than a sack of Yola holder, man. You think you dope? Because you holding that Yola. <laughs> Jake is doper than you, man. Doesn't even touch the Coke or whatever, dope, whatever. You know, the, the Jake's of your and me, I was doper than y'all, doper than you. Yeah, and Esau brought that Coke up in our midst anyway. So he's the real dope, dope fiend. But yeah, our people took that shit. But anyway, I'll leave this in the description box so you can check it out for yourself. So with that, I'm going to say Shalom.